So let's see and uh, solve some more example. But before that, remember the first thing is that if you have the a, yani the upper and the lower limit are same, whatever they are, then any integrand is written inside. The answer is equals to zero. Similarly, if from a till b f of x dx is written, and if you just change the positions of the upper and lower limits, everything stays the same except you just change the sign, then they will be equal. The second thing, the third last thing we said that if you have to find out the integrand from a f of x dx from a till b and they are cut into the two different parts, then write down the lower limit on the first integral sign as the lower limit and in the second integral sign write the upper limit. Now here the upper limit of the first integral sign and the lower limit of the second integral sign should be same. Let's suppose it is C. And here the integrand and dx will stay the same in both the cases. If it is like that, so look at the given data and solve the three examples. Let's suppose the first question says from 5 till 0 f of x dx. Have a look on the data. You have 5 and 0 here, but their positions are different. Means here 5 is the lower limit for the question, but in the given letter 5 is the upper limit. Similarly, 0 in the question is, as, is written as the upper limit, wherever in the given data it's as the lower limit. Means the position of 0 and 5 are changed. So what you have to do, you have to write as it is, but change the position of 5 and 0 as it is written in the, in the question, but you have to change the sign. Now from 0 till 5 f of x dx, this whole thing is equal to 10. So you will write it in place of this 10, but this minus you will write it over here. Now let's see. There is another question, number 2, from 0 till 7. So first have a look. Do you have 0 and 7 together? No, you have 0 and 5, but you have to see only focus on the f of x. Here in the given, there are some data about the g of x is written. You just ignore them because you have to focus on the same integrand. That means f of x. So, you have one data from 0 till 5 and one data is 5 till 7. So, what is the important thing? I told you if you cannot find the direct connection, then divide the integral into two parts. The lower limit is stay in the first part and the upper limit will be written on the second integral sign. So, f of x dx you will write f of x dx you will write. Now you have to see that the lower limit of the second integral and the upper limit of the first integral should be same. So in your case the data is 5 from 0 till 5 so on the on the top here write the 5 and make sure whatever if you are writing here also 5 then you should have that data in your given Question. That means 5 till 7. Yes, you have now everything with you from 0 till 5 f of x dx is equals to 10. And this plus formula plus you will write it as it is 5 till 7 f of x dx is equals to 3. And now you got the 13 as an answer. Have a look on the third question. Now here 5 till 7 4 f of x dx. So, look at this. This 4 is your constant. So, bring it outside according to the k f of x property. So, here 5 till 7, 4 is outside f of x dx. Once it is written, you will write the 4 and you know from 5 till 7 f of x dx is given in the question which is equals to 3. So, 4 times 3 will equals to 12. So, this is the way of solving such kind of questions. 
just quickly have a look on the other questions 4 and 5 if the you have to find from 3 till 3 g of x no need to see anywhere do you get it or you don't get it okay if the upper and the lower limits are same just write the zero in front of them that is your answer now let's see the question number 5 from 0 till 3 g of x dx. Look at this. Here we have a data g of x dx. Here we have the data g of x, d, g of x dx. But you don't have the 0 till 3 direct data. So for such ca cases we divide our function into two parts. The lower limit we write with the first integral as a lower limit. The upper limit of the question we write in the second integral as an upper limit. And inside as an integrand we will write g of x dx in both the integral signs. Now here the number on the first term of the upper limit, the number on the second term of the lower limit should be same. And in your cases both given ideas are 5. So right here 5, right here 5. That's it. Now 0 till 5 g of x dx is equals to negative 4 from the data. Just write it down. This plus write it here. Now 5 till 3 g of x dx will not be given. Is not given. You have been given 3 till 5. It means the position of 5 and 3 are changed. So what do we do? If we have the changed position, we put only the negative sign and the value that is equals to 2. Now, negative 4, negative 2, the answer is negative 6. It's not very difficult, only you have to practice a lot to find out or to solve such kind of questions. Hope you understand. If you don't understand, if you have any kind of question, write in the comment box.